Keffer and I'm with the St. James Parish Council. Hello St. James parishioners, my name is Christopher Burns. This is Nancy Starzinski from St. James the Apostle Parish. Hi. I'm Kenneth. This is Lisa Vinosa of um, St. James. Family. My name is Darren Serretto. Hi, my name is Jerry Ann Caswell. Hi, my name is Maggie Keffer and I'm with the St. James Parish Council. What I miss most about Mass is praying with my community. So I'd like it if you please take a moment and pray with me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Be safe, everyone. Hello St. James parishioners, my name is Christopher Burns and here are my thoughts about spirituality while we wait out this virus uh, situation. What do I do? I pray the rosary every day and I read the word of God. Psalm 91 verse 10 says, No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. I hope that brings you some peace. And I look forward to seeing you after this uh, virus scare is over. God bless you. This is Nancy Starzinski from St. James the Apostle Parish in Springfield, New Jersey. Hoping you're all well, hoping you're all staying safe and spending a lot of good time with your family and friends. Just remember to check in on a neighbor who's elderly or alone. Just say a word of hello because it'd be very sad tough time right now as we all know we're going through some craziness but with our faith hope and love we will get through this all together and hopefully see each other again soon in person back at St. James. God bless and peace. Hi I'm Kenneth. One of the things I miss these days is our weekly gathering as a community at Sunday Mass. I am however lifted up by God's word especially in St. Paul's letter to the Romans chapter 8 that says nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. With that in mind, let's continue to pray together wherever we may be, and we pray that soon we can gather again as one body. This is Lisa Velosa of um, St. James. Um, we are going through Lent, and um, also at the same time there is a pandemic happening. All the kids are home, and so it allows us to pray together every day. And I try to um, make it different every day. So it, some days we pray the rosary, other days chaplet, uh, and then certain days we pray the novena. And you know, it's it's good, um, especially for the children to be able to know again, you know, familiarize themselves with these prayers. And so I think you know, it, this is a blessing, you know, blessing out of the situation. Hello, Parish family. My name is Darren Serretta. During this unprecedented, changing, and challenging time in our world, I find the draw to that ever constant peace in prayer. Now that everything has slowed down, I'm using the time to build my relationship with our Lord and with my family. I pray that you and your family stay healthy and safe and that you find the blessings that are all around you on each day. God bless. Hi, my name is Jerry Ann Casmore. I want to share my favorite poem with you, Footprints in the Sand. One day, there was a man walking along the beach with the Lord. When he looked back at all the happy times, there was always two sets of footprints in the sand. But when it was the lowest times in his life, he looked back and there was only one set of footprints. And he said, Lord, how can you leave me when I needed you the most? And the Lord said, I would never leave you. It was then that I carried you. So I want you to know that during these crazy times, that we do not walk alone, that we walk with the Lord. And sometimes, He'll carry us. Mm -hmm.